Renewable energy is derived from sources that are constantly replenished and are therefore considered to be sustainable. These sources include sunlight, wind, water, and geothermal heat, among others. Renewable energy is an important part of the global effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change. In this video, we will explore seven types of renewable energy. First, solar energy. This is derived by capturing radiant energy from sunlight and converting it into heat, electricity, or hot water. Photovoltaic PV systems can convert direct sunlight into electricity through the use of solar cells. One of the benefits of solar energy is that sunlight is functionally endless, and with the technology to harvest it, there is a limitless supply of solar energy, meaning it could render fossil fuels unnecessary. Obsolete, relying on solar energy rather than fossil fuels also helps us improve public health and environmental conditions in the long term. Solar energy could also eliminate energy costs and in the short term reduce your energy bills for many federal, local, state, and private. Governments also incentivize the investment in solar energy by providing rebates or tax credits. Although solar energy will save you money in the long run, it tends to have a significant upfront cost and is an unrealistic expense for most households. For personal homes, homeowners also need to have the ample sunlight and space to arrange their solar panels, which limits who can realistically adopt this technology at the individual level. Second, Wind Energy when farms capture the energy of wind flow by using turbines and converting it into electricity, there are various types of conversion systems. Wind energy in each of these very commercial grade wind power generating systems. Power many different organizations while single wind turbines are used to help supplement pre-existing energy organizations, another form of utility scale wind farms, which are purchased by contractor, wholesale, technically wind energy is a form of solar energy, the phenomenon we call wind is caused by the differences in temperature in the atmosphere combined with the rotation of earth and the geography of the planet benefits of clean energy source, which means that it doesn't pollute the air like other forms of energy that wind energy doesn't produce carbon dioxide, or release any harmful products that can cause environmental degradation or negatively affect human health like smog rain or other heat trapping gases to investment in wind energy technology can also open up new avenues for jobs and job training as the turbines on farms need to be serviced and maintained to keep running. Since wind farms tend to be built in rural or remote areas where they are usually far from bustling cities where the electricity is needed most wind energy must be transported via transition lines leading to higher costs. Although wind turbines produce very little pollution, some cities oppose them since they dominate skylines and generate noise when turbines also threaten local wildlife. Like birds, which are sometimes killed by striking the arms of the turbine while flying. Third, Hydro Energy Water flows through the dam's turbines to produce electricity known as pumped storage hydropower runs off river hydropower uses a channel to funneling water through rather than powering it through a dam benefit hydroelectric power is very versatile and can be generated using both large scale projects like the Hoover Dam and small scale projects like underwater turbines and lower dams on small rivers and streams. Hydroelectric power does not generate pollution and therefore are much more environmentally friendly. Energy option for our environment Electricity facilities use more energy than they are able to produce for consumption. The storage systems may need to use fossil fuel to pump water free. Although hydroelectric power does not pollute the air and disrupts waterways and negatively affects the animals that live in them, changing water levels migration paths for many fish and other freshwater ecosystems. Fourth, Geothermal energy. Geothermal heat is heat that is trapped beneath the Earth's crust. From the formation of the Earth, 4.5 billion years ago, and from radioactive decay, sometimes large amounts of this heat escapes naturally, but all at once, resulting in familiar occurrences such as, as volcanic eruptions and geysers, can be captured and used to produce geothermal energy by using steam that comes from the heated water pumping below the surface, which then rises to the top and can be used to operate. The benefits of geothermal energy are not as common as other types of renewable energy sources, but it has a significant potential for energy supply since it can be built underground, leaves very little footprint on land. 
Geothermal energy is naturally replenished and therefore does not run a risk of depleting on a human time scale due to current limitations. Cost plays a major factor when it comes to the disadvantages of geothermal energy. Not only is it costly to build the infrastructure, but another major concern is its vulnerability to earthquakes in certain regions of the world. Fifth Oceans Energy The ocean can produce two types of energy. Thermal and mechanical ocean thermal energy relies on warm water surface temperatures to generate energy through a variety of different systems. Ocean mechanical energy uses the ebbs and flows of the tides to generate energy, which is created by the Earth's rotation and gravity from the moon benefits, unlike other forms of renewable energy. Energy is predictable, and it's easy to estimate the amount of energy that will be produced instead of relying on varying factors such as sun and wind. Wave energy is much more consistent in this type of renewable energy is also abundant, the most populated cities tend to be near oceans and harbors, making it easier to harness this energy for the local population. The potential of wave energy is a phenomenal yet untapped resource energy resource with an estimated ability to produce 2640 terawatt hours per year, just 1 terawatt hour per year. Of energy can power around 903,850 average U.S. homes with annual or about twice the number of homes that currently exist in the U.S. At present current limitations for those who living near the ocean definitely has its benefits. From wave energy, but those who live in landlocked states won't have ready access to this energy in another the disadvantage of ocean energy is that it can disturb the ocean's many delicate ecosystems, although it is a very clean source of energy that large machinery needs to be built nearby to help capture this forum energy, which can cause disruptions to the ocean flow and the sea life. Habitats are another factor to consider as whether it occurs when rough weather changes the consistency of the waves thus producing a lower energy output when compared to normal waves without storms. Sixth, Hydrogen Energy Hydrogen needs to be combined with other elements, such as oxygen to make water, as it does not occur naturally as a gas on its own when hydrogen is separated from another element, it can be used for both fuel and electricity benefits. Hydrogen can be used as a clean burning fuel, which leads to lessen pollution in a cleaner environment, it can also be used for fuel cells, which are similar to batteries, and can be used for powering an electric motor since hydrogen needs energy to be produced. It is inefficient when it comes to preventing pollution. 7th Biomass Energy Bioenergy is a renewable energy derived from biomass. Biomass is organic matter that comes from recently living plants and organisms using wood in your fireplace as an example of biomass. Most people are familiar with there being various methods used to generate energy through the use of biomass. This can be either by burning biomass or harnessing methane gas, which is produced by the natural decomposition of organic materials in ponds or even landfills. Benefits of using biomass are Energy production creates carbon dioxide that is put into the air, but the regeneration of plants consumes the same amount of carbon dioxide, which is said to create a balanced atmosphere, biomass can be used in a number of different ways in our daily lives, not only for personal use, but businesses as well in 2017 energy from biomass, which made up about 5% of the total energy used in the US. This energy came from wood biofuels like ethanol and energy generated from methane captured from landfills or by burning municipal waste current limitations although new plants need carbon dioxide. Drug plants take time to grow, and we also don't yet have widespread technology that can use biomass in view of fossil fuels. Renewable energy is a key part of the global effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change. There are many different types of renewable energy, each with its own unique advantages and challenges. By harnessing these sources of energy, we can create a more sustainable future for ourselves and for future generations.